I'm here at the National Stadium in Ta'ali with Luke Camilleri Kushkiri, a swimmer who currently trains at Phoenix but aspires to take his swimming career to the next level by getting a scholarship to train and compete internationally. So Luke, how did you get into swimming? Well, I got into swimming, it was quite simple. I had a sub-project and I decided to do coaching okay. right here at Ta'ali and the manager at the time, who is now my coach, asked me if I wanted to join. And slowly, slowly I began to train and got into the elite level and eventually, you know, I stuck to it and I started to enjoy it. So you started swimming pretty late? Yeah, I'm 17 now and I got into swimming when I was 16, when we first entered sixth form. And seeing that this place was so close, I took the opportunity to do the sub-project as well. And I enjoy teaching sports and it's part of my life now, so yeah. Lou, as a sportsman, do you do anything in particular? Do you, have you had to change your lifestyle or make any sacrifices? Well, you know about this, we've always talked about it in Pontchefield. Yeah. So, um, quite a few, but seeing as I never used to drink or smoke, that wasn't the problem. The problem would be sacrificing time and the time my parents would have to sacrifice, seeing as we used to have sessions in the morning at 6 to late, and the rush of school. But the real sacrifice would be the social life. Like, you can't go out as much as you'd like to with swimming because it gets in the way. And if you had to go on summer, let me give you an example. Mm. Part of it on Wednesday, you can't wake up Thursday morning for a session. You'd be too tired. And food, food was one of the things which I had to sacrifice. Um, I love junk food, but unfortunately, to take it seriously, I have to get the right body and muscle okay. density. I had to start eating a little bit more. Healthy. So you don't eat as much as Michael Phelps with his 2,000 calorie breakfast? No, 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 not close. Um, uh, normal diet, which I used to take, is to consist of about 4,000 to 5,000 calories in the whole day. And most of those calories would come from nuts, as in fats in the nuts, and uh, protein in the eggs. I'm mostly getting it from meats, vegetables, and salads, you know? So what's your training schedule like? Well, I started off with like about 9 sessions a week. Normally five in the afternoon, three in the morning, and then one on a Saturday morning. But since A levels, seeing as studies is quite important here in Malta, and it's what you need to focus on to get a real career here, I had to take a bit of a short break for three months. And now I'm back, I've recently started training. And what I'm doing is gym in the morning, just like an hour, and then two hours in the afternoon of swimming to ease up into it. But soon enough, in like Two or three months, I'll be back to full with eight sessions to nine. So, other activities? Well, I cycle it to um, the swimming since I live in Attar, it's quite close, it's like a 15 minute cycle. But apart from that, I enjoy doing different sports with friends, not competitive wise. So, water polo in the summer, I used to do martial arts and now I'm going to try start MMA, just a fun thing. Um, but I also play a bit of football here and there, like twice a month, we rent the pitch and we go for an hour and have fun. Where do you want swimming to take you in the future? Well, at the moment it's a hobby, but seeing as getting into schools abroad is quite a tough thing, I would like, really like to try to take swimming to the next level, as you said in the intro. But it's not easy, it's not easy, it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of time, and you need support from the family, obviously. So, it matters, and my parents aren't too both onto the idea of me taking swimming as a career, because they don't think it will be the right way how to raise a family or to get the money. But there's also a backup plan, meaning the scholarship, which would allow me to go abroad to a foreign university, obviously, to help me study in the course I would like, like physio or psychology, or even personal training. Well, currently, due to the break I just took, I don't think I'm at the top of my level. But before, I was almost at national level. So, oh, yeah. competition-wise, I've taken part in time trials, which happen every three weeks on a Saturday. And the two main competitions that happen in Malta are the Easter meets and the nationals. During the Easter meets, I won some medals. And during the nationals, obviously, I didn't do as well as I thought I would do. Every sportsman obviously has his highs and lows. And those lows normally happen during time trials, where you don't get the time you actually want to get. But the best way to recover from this is through more training, better dedication, and also loving support from the team, the coach, and obviously our family. Anything else you'd like to add, Luke? 
Well, I'd like to start taking part in triathlon, but other than that, there's nothing else I'd like to add. Thanks for the opportunity, Matt. Welcome, man. What you want, what you want, what you want, what you want.